Joyce Kilmer wrote a poem that says, I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. Okay, first you draw a grass line and then you begin by drawing the trunk which is a little bit wider at the bottom than it than it is at the top. You can just draw a branch right off the side or you can go straight up and bend the line. Then put a V just above the bend and that separates um, your line into two different branches. So wherever you want to split off a branch you just make a little V. So you go up you draw a V there, there's one branch. And now you have a line for another branch. And there's another V. And so the when you do those V's, those are a really nice little trick. But remember, as you're doing the V's, the lines get thinner and thinner because trees go to a point. The end of the branch is pointy. So you want each successive V to get thinner than the one before. So you don't have to go crazy and spend a lot of time drawing leaves. You could just do the idea of leaves, which is just like big circles. More I'm interested in you figuring out how to do the trunk of a tree. How do branches come off? Then, you know, can you draw leaves? I know you could draw leaves. Okay, and then we'll start, you know, shading. If you're going to use a pencil, um, shade just like you do animals, you know, darker will make it a shadow. Um, the lighter you press makes things look rounder. So if you give it alternating dark and light, you create the illusion of depth. So when you're doing your shading on a tree, uh, the darker parts obviously are going to be at the bottom of the branch or at the side of the tree that's away from the sun. Also shade um, the bottom of the branch. Usually it's a little darker. Okay, so I'm going to draw another tree and this tree, this time we're going to do very similar to the last one, um, but except for we're going to do a family tree. So pick the number of people in your family that you have. I have five siblings. So I am going to draw six branches and I'll be using uh, that little V trick so that I can get all my branches. Okay, so as I get all my branches done, I'm going to start uh, my shading process. And then in each branch, I'll write the name of one of my siblings. And I'll continue to shade as I go along. So this is going to be a family tree. So the siblings' names are all going to go in the branches. And then my mom and dad's name is going to go actually on the tree. So there they are. My, my parents' names were Pat and Frank. Okay, so then I can draw some little twigs to make the tree look more realistic. 
okay, so I'm just shading in my tree and I'm putting in some roots and in the roots I can write different things like what um, gives my family strong roots and you could put like family, friendships, your school, small, write down whatever you think, you know, keep, gives your family a lot of strength because your roots matter. Where you come from matters. I'd like to thank Carolyn Satoris for supplying me with all these beautiful pictures of these trees. She actually planted most of the ones that were seen in this film. Thanks for drawing with me and remember it's a great day to be a knight.